Good evening, everybody. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. welcome. Well, Good it's evening. nice. It's nice. It's nice meeting you. Thank you for being here. We're going to start with the class, everybody. Um, well, first, I'm going to pass attendance, and I want. Are you help? You're gonna help me. I'm not to listen to your names, please. Say present. Or right, here I am. Okay, we're going to start. Just give me a second. Okay. Back now. Present. Thank you. Veronica Dram. Present teacher. Okay. Edith. Present. All right. Jancy? Present teacher. Amazing. Alexis? Present. Okay. Ana Maria Hueso? Present. All right. Ana Jeanette? Ben Saray? Present teacher. Okay. William? William, not here yet. Okay. Daniel, present teacher. Here. Okay. Ruth Elizabeth, present teacher. Okay. Ruth Milagro, present teacher. Here. Okay. Luis, Luis. Walter, present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bismar. Jose. Present teacher. Right. Sonia. Present teacher. Okay, Sonia, Jaime. Present. Okay, Surma. Surma. Gloria. Gloria, Heidi, thank you, Gloria. Heidi, present. Thank you. Victor, Victor, thank you, Luis. No worries. Gina, present teacher. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Yesenia. Present. Here, Vilma. Vilma. Veronica Milagro. Gerardo. Present. Thank you. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Here, Marta. Marta. Carolina. Carolina. Okay, I can see Anna Janet. Good evening, Anna. Somebody else? I can't mention out. A me, teacher. Sulma. Bueno, si no menciona la sulma. Ya la, ya la agregué. Thank you. No worries. Quien más? Quien se acaba de venir? Quien se Victor. Hello, Victor. Good evening. Luis, ya la agregué, Luis. Thank you. Sí, Victor, Victor, Victor. Okay. All right, well, uh, good evening, everybody. One more time. It's nice uh, to be with you, right? This is class number 13. We're going to start because I already has attendance. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Listen, uh, before to continue, I just want to say uh, some announcements that, uh, you know, authorities from Inglés Comparativo uh, made, right, uh, early. And that's about the reg registration process, right? I remember that you ha you has you were supposed to send your documents, and yeah, they were asking about that today. They were talking about that today in the in the WhatsApp group. Recordemos, eh, respecto al anuncio que se hizo ahora temprano, estuve yo verificando y veo que algunos eh, estuvieron ahí contestando y eh, ustedes este notificaban de que en efecto ya habían enviado su documento, ¿no? pero que no han tenido respuesta aún. Y bueno, comentarles acerca de eso, si enviamos los documentos en eh, el contacto que nos dijo, no se preocupe. ¿Okay? En todo caso, si los documentos no se recibieron, pues ellos tendrían que eh, van a ser con, contactar con ustedes. ¿verdad? Probablemente eh, ellos ya como es un proceso, ¿verdad? Y hay varios grupos que trabajan en eso. Trabajan en eso. Eh, solo les pedimos que seamos pacientes, ¿verdad? Y en cuanto a eso, para, eh, pues, esperamos que, que pronto es, eh, se les responda, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Ya le enviamos, repito, eh, en los mismos Si ya ven que no se les responde, eh, pues, les recomiendo que ustedes escriban llevan al mismo contacto o probablemente otro contacto. Recuerden que en el grupo de WhatsApp están varios contactos en cuanto a soporte y todo eso. Porque si no reciben ningún mensaje de, de confirmación, pues les recomiendo que ustedes eh, sean atentos, ¿verdad? Y, y eh, escriban, y escriban ¿no? a otro contacto o al mismo contacto de que no han recibido el mensaje de confirmación. Y recuerden, repito, acá la fecha que se les ha dado límite para esa receta de documentos. En caso no lo han hecho, tienen hasta mañana para ver esos, esos documentos. Se les, se les solicitó, ¿verdad? Se les envió el formulario para que ustedes lo llenaran. Eh, Están en ese proceso ahorita de imprimir el, el documento, llenarlo con sus datos, firmarlo, luego escanearlo y enviarlo en formato PDF, así como se, se, se indicó ahora, ¿verdad? Bueno, o sea, ya lo, lo sabían, ¿verdad? Así es que, eh, más que todo eso, comentar eso, recuerden que tienen hasta el mañana, hasta mañana para enviar documentos para la inscripción al siguiente módulo. En caso no lo hemos hecho, ¿verdad? Si ya lo hicimos, repito, y no han recibido alguna confirmación, no se preocupen. No se preocupen, porque se les va a contestar lo antes posible. Si, por ejemplo, Mañana, tarde mañana, quizás, o viernes, no, no han recibido un correo, un correo, un mensaje de confirmación, les recomiendo que ustedes escriban al mismo contacto o a otro contacto para saber si han recibido sus documentos, etc. Ok. Eh, thank you, Edith. Eh, me comenta que ha recibido confirmación. Very good. Okay, William, good evening. Thank you for joining. And Jaime, I think you have a question, Jaime. Sí, solo tenía la curiosidad, ¿verdad? De que era intermedio uno el que estamos aplicando. Pre-intermedio uno, parece, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, porque ustedes están en, en principiante, perdón, eh, uno, perdón, tres. Principiante tres, o básico tres. Eh, irían a pre-intermedio uno, sí. Bueno, gracias. Perfecto. Déjenme ver si... Oh, ok. Good evening, William. Good evening, Verónica Melado. It's nice to have you here. How are you guys? ¿Qué más se acaba de venir hace poquito? ¿Qué más de Verónica Melado en William? Creo que solamente ellos. No sé si tú... Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Just let me check if I have another participant here. Uh, 
ಓ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಗ್ರೇವಿನಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಅವಳು ಹೇಳು ರೆಪೀತ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಲ್ಲೋಸ್ಟ್ರೋಲ್ಲೋಸ್ಟ್ರೋಲ್ಲೋಸ್ಟ್
es la primera y la última. Dice que la he hecho de varias formas, pero no me sale. Okay, it says, I'll scramble the questions, instructions. I'll scramble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Mm, okay. Yeah, you have to organize all the words and construct the correct question in the simple pass. For example, yeah, this one says, yeah. Uh -huh. did, did you watch television last night? Pero no me da correcto. No sé. Okay. Y escri escribió, perdón, escribió el, el, el signo de interrogación. Yes. Sí. Inicia con mayúscula. Yes. Creo que eso no, no, no tiene ningún problema. Yes. Okay, déjeme verificar acá. Como puede observar, esas son las respuestas. Como la, la, la hemos puesto en hace un momento. Mm -hmm. hay, dos, hay dos posibles eh, problemas. El primero, que tenga algún, alguna palabra con eh, misspelling, right? probablemente alguna palabra la ha escrito mal. Lo segundo, probablemente al final, cuando escribió el, el question mark, pues tiene una interrogación de un espacio. No demos sí. espacio. Cuando escribimos aquí, es una interrogación, dejémoslo así, no demos espacio. Y sigamos con el dos. Probablemente el, sea la eso. Última. La última. Y la última también, ¿ok? Sí. La última, did, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Sí. ¿Sí la escribió? Eh, quiero ver. Did they go did to they, the movies? Did they eh, go to the movies on West, West, West Wednesday? Night. Wednesday. When, Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Cualquiera de, de las dos opciones es, es, es válida. Si escribes en minúscula, en minúscula o mayúscula. Lo recomendable es con minúscula, porque si hacemos una pregunta. Así lo escribo, pero no me sale. Intente nuevamente, intente nuevamente, como lo mencioné hace un momento, eh, vea el spelling, el deletreo, ¿verdad? De las letras. Y okay. no utilice espacio al final. Cuando escribe el, es una interrogación, no escribe un espacio, o no de un espacio en el teclado. Verifique si gusta, hágalo después de, de, de la clase o si no ahorita no hay ningún problema eh, y me, me notifique. Okay. Yeah. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're going to start with the class, guys. This is class number 13. Today is Wednesday, August 11th. The topic for today is statements with the pass of B. Ok, let's begin. Statements with the pass of B. What is the pass of B, guys? Do you remember? Do you know what is the pass of B? Was, was where. Here. Give me a second. Very nice. Yeah, that is the pass of B. Pass of B. This is was. Was or where. That is the pass of B. Okay, let me clarify something before to continue. Now we'll ask you another question. What is the present of B? Am, is, are. Yeah, very good. This is the present of B. We already saw the present of B, right? Am or is. Am is are. The past of B is was or where. We're gonna focus on that today. Okay. Let's begin. The past of B has two forms, was and where. How we use it in sentences. Let me show you. Let's go with the structures. Remember, when we talk about the past, we need to have in mind this, you know, um, we need to have in mind this, okay? The past simple of B. We have the present. We are in the present, right? And we have the past and the future. In the present, we can say um, the boy or 
in this case, uh, he is tall, right? Tall. That is in the present. Because uh, the man or the boy is growing growing up, right? So that's why the man or the he is tall. But in the past, we know that he was a, a kid, he was a child, and he was short. Okay? He was short. That is a pass. That is a pass. Okay? We're going to focus on that. Let's see the structures. Let's go with affirmative words. What is the way we structure the pass of B? It's like this. We had the subject. We had was or where. And we have a complement. Okay. Something that you have to have in mind is that when we have the following pronouns, listen, in affirmative. Well, affirmative or negative, it's okay. I, I, he, she, and it, we use was. Okay. And when we have you, we and they, we use where, yes. Okay, that's the way we use was and where with those specific pronouns or subjects as we call them. Affirmative form, right? Right now. Let me give you some examples. Okay. And now we're, we are with affirmative form, right? So we can say, I was, I was a student, a, I was a student, okay? This is in the past, in the past. My father was, a, let me see, was at work in the morning. My father was at work in the morning. So now I'm talking about a location. Right now, my father is at, is at home. My father is at home. My father was at work in the morning. That is a past, right? a past action, but a past event. Other one, we can say she was, a, she was, A doctor. He was a doctor. So we're talking about past things, right? Past things. This is affirmative. What about with the other forms? When you say you were, you were in, you were at the supermarket last week. You were at the supermarket last week. So here we have, we're saying a location. Someone or you were at the supermarket last week. Next, we were, we were friends. If we want to contrast, we can say, we can say, what? Oh, sorry, we can say we were friends. Now, we are enemies, for example. This is just an example, okay? We were friends, now we are enemies. That is the opposite of friends, right? That is in the present, okay? That's what we contrast, the past and the present, okay? This is the affirmative, word, the affirmative form, sorry. What about the negative way? With the negative way, we use the same formula, but we include not. After the verb be, in this case, it's to be. We use a subject, we use was not, or were not, or we can use the contractions, wasn't or weren't, okay? And have wasn't is of the contractions. 
percent equals was not and weren't equals were not. Okay. You can say I was I wasn't or I wasn't. Oh, let just let me give you first this. Remember the same with I, he, she, or it. We just wasn't. And we use for you, we and they, we use weren't. Okay. And we can say, I wasn't at the mall yesterday evening. I wasn't at the mall yesterday evening. I was giving classes, right? I was teaching, I was delivering classes. I wasn't at the mall yesterday morning, evening time. I say my mother, my mother wasn't teacher. Let's say five years ago. We can contrast and we can say now she is a math teacher. Okay. So that's what we contrast the past and the present. In the past, my mother wasn't a teacher. Now she's a teacher. She's a math teacher. Okay. So here we're contrasting. We're contrasting the two, uh, I would say, tenses. Past and, and, and present. On the other hand, we can say we weren't. We weren't in the beach last Sunday. You weren't at the beach last Sunday. Or we can say you weren't, you weren't students, right? We weren't um, at work yesterday night. You weren't at work yesterday night. Okay, this is the way we construct a statement with this with the pass of B. Pass of B, remember, pass of B was aware. Okay, any questions over here? So far, so good. Este yeah. va un poquito rápido y casi no, bueno, por lo menos yo no alcanzo a copiar las, las oraciones. Si oh, las puede poner yeah, un poquito yeah. para, para. Yes, yeah, sure, no worries. Sorry. Gracias. Uh, do you want me to scroll up? ¿Quiere que Augusto que sub que deslice hacia arriba? Sí, sí. Una observación, no sé si estoy equivocado, pero creo que yeah. no. Este, acá en We Were Friends, acá se con, aquí no está bien, creo, el tiempo. Oh, oh sorry, no. sorry. Yeah, we are enemies. We were friends, we are enemies. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Voy rápido con respecto al, 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 a los ejemplos o voy rápido con respecto a, al ritmo de ir explicando. Creo que por los, los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Sí, los ejemplos. Okay, si quieren, igual que si quieren que voy muy rápido, me avisan. Any questions?
Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to learn the way we structure questions now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Veronica. In the previous example, here we are contrasting the two tenses, past and present. Acá estamos contrastando el pasado y el presente. To say we were enemies. Past. In when we say now is because in the present. So now we are enemies. This is present. So that's the way we can contrast. For example, when you say, um, let me go here. When you say, I wasn't, in my case, right? In my case, listen to this example. I wasn't an English teacher. English teacher. Um, let's say, let me see. Yeah, five years ago. Now, I am. Okay, so I'm contrasting. I was learning this teacher five years ago. Now I am. This is has a be. This is past. And this is present. Okay. You can contrast. You can make that contrast. Okay. But well, we had the contractions, right? Was not, like I said before, it was, we say wasn't. Was not equals wasn't. Or were not equals weren't. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, no doubts, guys? So far, so good. Any preguntas? Un comentario, duda? Okay. No, teacher, no. Thanks. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with more examples. We have positive and negative form. Okay, let's go with positive or affirmative words. Examples. He was ill. He was ill. He was happy. It was cold. You were late. We were angry. Or they were at home. Those are some examples with the affirmative one. Okay, and we follow the structure. Subject was aware plus complement. Okay. We can express feelings, we can express uh, you know places in this case, locations, etc. We wasn't aware. In the negative form, we can say he was not or he wasn't ill. She was not or she wasn't happy. It was not or it wasn't cold. We were not, you were not, sorry, or you weren't late. We were not or we weren't angry. And they were not, they weren't at home. Okay. Questions? Mm -hmm. Can I come in questions? Come on, come on. Any questions? Perdón, no me tenía activa. Okay, it's okay, no worries. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. No worries. That happens, that happens. It's okay. I, I, I ask you because, yeah, when you, when people uh, switch on the microphone, I think it's because, you know, you have questions. But it's okay, no worries. Okay. Questions? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Um, well, the way we make questions, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. About questions. Right now, I'm going to focus in, on, on this part, just affirmative and negative. Yes, Dr. Uh, uh, donde dice, she was not happy. Dice, eh, ahí el que está en paréntesis, el was, was not, es. Yes, yes, that is a contraction. Eh, 
Tacna. You can say was not, that is the long form, or you can say wasn't, that is the contraction. Vamos a utilizar una forma extensa o podemos usar una, una forma corta. For example, you can say, you can say she was not happy, or you can say she wasn't happy. Okay. So both are correct, ambas son correctas. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That's why in the examples in the negative way, if the, the contraction is in parentheses, it's because you can vary. You can use contraction, you can short form, or you can use long form. Yeah. Somebody else questions? Okay. No, sure. Oh, good. Moving on, let's go with some practice. Let's practice together. Let's continue with the statements with the pass of B. What do you have to do? Look at, listen to the instructions. Look at the instructions. I need you to look at the statements given, and you have to complete the sentences uh, with the simple pass in this case, it comes Okay? Listen, be careful with this. Listen to my explanations. I have here some examples, some sentences. And we have eight. The eight sentences are in the present. Okay? We have affirmative, we have negative. For example, I am late for school. He isn't 17. The students are in the school. Number four, Lisa is a teacher. Number five, Sam is sick. Number six, my friend is in Japan. Number seven, she is happy. And number eight, my parents aren't at home. What I want you to do with these examples, with these exercises, I need you to use them and you have to rewrite, rewrite the sentences in the simple class. You have to use as a B, okay? For example, let me give you the first one. The first one says, in the present, I am late for school. So you have to rewrite the sentence the sentence in the path, in the simple pass. So you can say, I was late for school. You have to make the change. Okay. Please, in your notebooks, I will give you some time. I want you to copy this, complete the exercises, please. And I need you to rewrite the sentences, the same sentences, but in the simple pass. Okay. Go ahead. I will give you some time. Let's go in your notebooks, take your time, copy the sentences, and write, rewrite the simple class way. Let's go. Take your time. If you have any questions, just let me know. Me preguntas, hagamos. So as you finish, please let me know. You can raise your hands or just inform me in the microphone. Uh, we're going to talk about an uh, interrogative way, interrogative form tomorrow, Edith. No worries. Right now, we're going to focus on affirmative and negative form. Okay? Tomorrow, we're going to talk about questions. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Ana Maria.
time finish. Finish teacher. Thank you. Two more minutes. Okay, let's begin. Remember, you are supposed to rewrite the sentences in the simple past. We have to use the past of the was or where. Number one was given as an example, right? I am late for school. That statement is in the, in the present, right? In the simple present. In the past one, we say, I was late for school. Number two. He wasn't 17. Okay. Yeah, the statement in the present is he isn't 17. In the past one, we say he was 17. Very good. Number three, the students aren't at school. The students weren't at the school. Okay. Yeah, the students weren't at school. Okay. Number four, Lisa is a teacher. Lisa, Lisa was a teacher. Was, is a teacher. Lisa was a teacher, yes. Okay, number five, Sam is sick. Sam was sick. Sam was sick, yes. Number six, my friend my, isn't in Japan. My, my friend, friend was sick. Where in Japan. Japan? Yes, remember was in this case because it's singular. Wasn't. In Japan. Yes, my friend wasn't in Japan. Number seven, she's happy. She was happy. She was happy. Todos vimos un plural en friends. I'm sorry? No, 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 que todos habíamos visto un plural en friends porque yo igual leí my friends. Yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. Okay. Yeah, if you say my friends, it's weren't. Weren't. In this case, it's was because it's just one, right? In singular. Okay. It's okay, no worries. Number eight. My parents were not at home. Okay. Were at home. My parents weren't were at home. Exactly. So this case is weren't. It not was. Yes. What we say weren't and not was wasn't. It's plural. Yeah, it's plural. My parents is plural. Exactly. Parents is plural. When we say parents, we're referring to your mother and your, no. and your, and your no, no, no. father, sorry. They. Yeah. Parents, you say that is a term that we use for mother and father. Very good. Okay, listen. What I want to do now, 
because I needed to express your own examples in your notebooks, in your notebooks. Now is your turn. Listen to my instruction. Write in your notebook at least five sentences for using the puzzle B. Okay? Please, I need you to use affirmative or negative form, and I need you to talk about you and your family members. So you can include your friends, etc. Okay? For example, things about you, right? Things about you, your family members, or friends. It can be like, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, okay, at the restaurant. Yesterday morning. Then I can say my father, my father was at the bank. Okay. Last Monday. Uh, I can say my brother was at work. Uh, yesterday night, etc. So we continue. So I need to write my examples with the puzzle B about your family members, friends, and you. Let's go. Take your time, please follow the examples and as soon as you finish, we're going to show the examples. Oh, I forgot to include uh, an example we weren't. We'll say, um, the friends and I weren't, um, okay. At the university last year. Okay. This case, an example we weren't. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking my mother not to. Right. Five examples, please. With the puzzle B. Teacher, yes. How do you say conocerte? Is meet you. Oh, are you trying to say like when we say nice to me, it's nice to meet you? No, it was a mistake conocerte. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, yeah, you can say like that. Like, it was a mistake. Meet you. To meet you. To meet yeah. you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome.
Can you end? Let me know, please. By the way, um, I will send you the the list of verbs that I told you in last classes about regular and irregular verbs, so you can practice. I know that you are looking for that information, right? But I want to, to do so too, right? Because les quiero enviar una lista de, de verbos comunes para que ustedes estén practicando. Es que lo estamos haciendo e, 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 y hemos investigado que les, se las enviaré para que ustedes puedan practicar. I finish. Thank you. I finish. Thank you. I finish, teacher. All right. Well, let's begin. Let's listen to to you guys. Let's go with some participants. Uh, who wants to help me? Who wants to express? Hey, me. Yeah, let's go with you. She was my girlfriend. Yeah. He wasn't a real partner. Yes. They were in troubles with the police five years ago. Yes. It was a mistake to meet you. We weren't ready for that. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Jaime, for the examples. Those are nice. Okay, another participant. Hi, Dijan. Walter, yeah, let's go. Thank you. Okay. I wasn't on the work. She was in the school yesterday. My mother was in my house. My father wasn't here. He is in the bank, in the bank. Okay, very good. Yeah, we just say, uh, okay. oh, sorry, continue, continue, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, uh, let me We were at a taco the last Saturday. Okay, yes. I'm sorry, but very good, very good. Uh, Walter, when you say, when you use a school, you say a school, not in the school, okay? Okay. A school, Thanks. and when you say at the bank, in at the bank, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you, Walter, for the examples. Thank you. You're welcome. Another participant? At Neil. Yeah, please. Yeah. And then Ruth, Elizabeth. My dog and my cat weren't enemies. My yeah. mother was sick last week. Yes. My family were at the beach last Sunday. I wasn't at the office yesterday. My daughter was in technology class this morning. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Ruth, for the examples. Daniel, I will listen to you. Sorry. Um, we were we weren't at the concert yesterday. My mother was at supermarket last weekend. He wasn't my English teacher. Laura and Peter were husband. Now they are divorced. I was a visit my friends this last Saturday. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for the examples. Um, let me see, I want to listen to Jancy. Can you give us an example, please? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Um, I was at the museum. I wasn't happy. I was worried. She was at the kitchen. He was at the bedroom. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jancy, for the examples. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, Alexis, are you ready? Um, okay. Yeah. 
my friends was at play soccer yesterday. My dogs weren't at backyard in the morning. She was eat with another at the restaurant. My laptop was a uh, crashed uh, yesterday. Y la última no la he hecho. Okay, no worries. Good, good. Eh, with the last one, eh, there is another one. Eh, Alexis, my laptop was crashed. Was crashed. That can be the way, okay? And the first one, you say my friends, where, where, but when you say playing, playing soccer, this is something different. When we say we're playing, this is the past continuous. Okay, it's different because we have an action. When we have a verb, this is a verb in ing form. This is past continuous. Okay, the example is good. Yeah, because you're using uh, the past of be. But this is past continuous. Okay, we will see the past continuous soon. Ese es el pasado, el pasado continuo. El ejemplo está, está excelente porque está utilizando el verbo to, el verbo to be en pasado. Pero tenemos otro verbo que está en ing. Ese es el pasado continuo. Eso lo vamos a ver después. Por el próximo, no hay que ver el próximo modo. Eh, así es que acá. Para hacer la regla, ¿verdad? Para utilizar el, 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 el paso B, you can say probably my friends were eh, at the soccer field. Yes, ma'am. Ok. Y, perdón. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Fuera un error, en vez de usar playing, usar plate. Eh... Yes, because that is that is that is something different. That is a uh, that can be, you know, the the passive voice, the passive voice, but it's not used in that way. Okay. okay. So probably if you say if you say soccer was played by my friends, it's different. You can use played, but this is a, the simple past passive passive voice. Esa es la forma, la, la voz pasiva. Se puede usar, pero no my, no my friends were played. Soccer was played by my friends. Eso es algo diferente. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, ¿ok? Igual, eh, no, es muy bueno aclarar. aclarar en el caso de, del ejemplo de Alexis, de Alexis, eh, podría ser de esa forma. Si solo estamos utilizando el verbo to be, ahorita. Ahorita, vamos a dar paso a paso. Y, pero el ejemplo que nos dio él es excelente, porque es el pasado continuo. Estamos, y estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Está incluido, ¿verdad? Pero ese es el pasado continuo. El verbo está en ING. Lo usamos así, es, es el, la, la, la voz pasiva. Very good, Alexis. Thank you for the examples. Uh, I will read a little, a little examples in the chat. I was a good student. The sky was clear. The children were in the gardens. My son wasn't at home last night. Yes, very good, Edith. Okay, just one observation, Edith. Uh, the sky is spelling like this, without the A. Without A. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, I will go with the last participant because of the time. A volunteer or? Okay, uh, I will select, let me see. Ana Maria, can you help us please? Um. I was a kindergarten teacher. Me oye, sí. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, I can hear you. Te lo escuchamos. Eh, 
My son wasn't at your restaurant. Yeah. Pero no la terminé. Hey, yesterday she was go to supermarket. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah. They were the best friend. We were in a class. I. Compañero de clase, classmate at school. Oh, they they weren't classmates. Yes. Classmate, classmate. They weren't classmates at school. Yes. Classmates. Very good. Classmates. Only that, Ana Maria. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Listen. Mm -hmm. eh, good. Eh, just one observation. The last one. Can you repeat again the example when you say, um, I think it was my son, right? My son wasn't, or when you say go, can you repeat that example? I think it was number four. Can you repeat the example three or four? Yeah, my son wasn't. Wasn't. Wasn't? Go at restaurants, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that one. Let me give you the, the observation. You can say, my son, my son wasn't at the restaurant. Oops. Restaurant, restaurant. Uh, or you can say, but this is past continuous again. You can say, my my son wasn't going to the restaurant yesterday. I ahí me perdí, no sabía cómo cómo poner la idea. No worries, no worries. Listen, listen to this. The first one is a puzzle B. This one is a puzzle B. And we are referring to a location, a big location. In the second one, this is a puzzle continuous. We will see this in the in the following module. Or yeah, this is coming. A past continuous, and this one is an action. This is action. Okay. That is the difference. Okay. With it, with the puzzle B, thank you, thank you. With the puzzle yes, B, teacher. you're welcome. With the puzzle B, we give a location. My son was in another restaurant yesterday. And with the past continuous, we, we give an action. Because we have the very nice teacher. Before. Yes? Y también sería un error entonces, en vez del going to, usar el when. Yes, because that is simple past, it's different. Okay. That's okay. A, a different tense. Ese es un, un tiempo verbal diferente. I, I, got, I got it, teacher, I got it. Yeah. Teacher, entonces, yes. eh, por ejemplo, yo, la quinta oración que yo dije, dije, era, I was a visit. Eh, podría haber puesto, I was went a visit, a visit, my friends. El went. ¿Lo pude haber puesto o no? Eh, okay, okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? Dije, I was a visit my friend this last Saturday. Y mi pregunta es si es correcto o se podría mm. poner después del was el went de, de ir. Yeah. Yes, it, no, went, it is not included here. Probably you can say, Daniel, sorry. Uh, you can visit? say, I was at my friend's house yesterday, for example. But if you want to use, but this is the puzzle B, right? If you want to, if you want to use, for example, simple past, past continuous, but different simple verbal, you can say I was visiting probably my friend's house. It's different. Yesterday, yesterday morning. Or if you say I went to, or I visit, I visited, sorry, my friend's house. Yesterday, this is simple pass. Okay, okay. No, no los quiero confundir, pero, no los quiero confundir, pero aclarar, aclarar. This is the puzzle B. El, el, simple, el pasado simple ya lo vimos, ¿no? Ese que vimos antes. Puzzle B. This is pass continuous, es el que vamos a ver luego. Pero para, para adelantar, ¿verdad? Y aclarar. Reemplazamos los verbos en ING y tenemos el simple path, que es el que vimos en las clases anteriores. They are different, as you can see. 
This is the difference. Okay. Very good. Any questions, guys? Oh, okay, no worries. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, guys, if you don't have questions, we're going to start right here. Eh, recuerden, para no, que, no quiero que se confundan, el past continuous lo vamos a ver más adelante. Eh, lo quería aclarar porque estamos utilizando verbos con, en ese caso, otro verbo, por decirlo así, porque el eh, passing words es un verbo. ¿verdad? Verbo, y estamos utilizando otro verbo, otro segundo verbo, que en ese caso es en ING. Bueno, si está en ING, es en past continuous, pasado continuo. Lo vamos a ver en el próximo módulo, si no me equivoco. Y el simple, simple pass, el pasado simple que lo vimos antes, ¿verdad? Eso es para acciones eh, completas, ¿verdad? El pasado. ¿Ok? Well, everybody, we're going to start right here. It's the sixth time. Do you have any questions before to go? No question. Thanks, teacher. Anytime. Ok, everybody. Well, thank you for your time. I know that it is worthy. Thank you so much. We will continue tomorrow, guys. And tomorrow I'm going to explain the final exam for the ones that haven't completed that exam, right? Thank you so much again. Have a good night. Stay safe and blessings. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night teacher. Bye -bye. See you yeah, tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> good night, teacher. Yeah, for sure. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you.